It's always fun to come back and see our manager has done good things for us, like make us $167 million in minerals. And we also have a lot of this uranium stuff built up, so we should be able to get some more upgrades. But before that, we can see how far we've digged down down to 95 kilometers and there's a cave that opened up so we can send a little adventure bot down there like a little basic drone so we can collect the money as well as the time lapse now if only we had the minerals to get some of these upgrades that we can afford right now or just money in general i only own half the amount that i need but since the gold is locked we can sell some other things like the silver because we don't need that right now and the copper now things are pumping again oh and this little guy found a chest good for you a time lapse. Ooh, we discovered blue obsidian. Wow. And while we're here, we can send a drone down this way. Just a quick little aerial drone so we can scout out these tunnels ahead. All right, we have some minerals and some building materials here. And we have a new trader that is, oh great, it's a Karen. Hope she doesn't want to see my manager. But she basically just wants a ton of money and we get a basic chest from it. This one is a little bit less, so we'll go for this one. And I don't want to open it quite yet because we need to solve the storage issue by just selling some more of these and probably some of the platinum and now we can open the chest Ooh, for even more money we almost got the entire purchase back and then this little chest gives us a 10 minute time lapse so we have to sell some more things but that is getting us closer to the gold that we need so that's always good and i want to keep the coal unlocked for 500,000 because we need that for an upgrade and i don't really want to sell any isotopes anymore unless i can lock the isotopes Ooh, i can thing is a lot of these upgrades require uranium one and we don't even have enough for this one not that we had the money for it anyway and we can also collect the things from the scientists so the little bag of money a 44 million dollars is a small bag oh boy a random reward is always fun and exciting and this one had a little mineral pile so we can collect that Ooh, he had a lot of blue obsidian let's also get a random thing from you going and sadly no third scientist but a drone has come back with the building materials very good and this little guy just made it to the time lapse so he's gonna work his way back Ooh, lots of goodies down this tunnel and not too many down here i'll send a basic drone down this tunnel because he can collect all these things but this is also a boulder so there's nothing to collect there Ooh. I do have enough things to increase the metal detector so we can see chest locations on the scroll bar. That could be good. Oh, and blue obsidian is what we needed to upgrade the manager. I think for now I'll upgrade the metal detector so I can see where the chests are coming up on the side. And he has a different look to him too. I like that. And the little guy is finally starting to make his way back with all the treasure that he collected. And blue obsidian goes for a lot of money. Just 2600 is worth 52 million. I like it. And I guess we only need 50,000 diamonds for that one upgrade, so we can sell a ton of these and open up some space. And now that drone that had the time lapse came back, so we get a big pile of money from that and the time lapse. And now we have enough gold to do some crafting. Very good. Now we have the heat pump, which gave it a bit more of a speed to the drill. And we have finally gone to 97 kilometers, so hopefully that means better things for us. So we can get a few more dollars in money like a hundred million. Ooh, and another chest. Please have a time lapse. Just 84 million. Really? At least the drone won't let me down. Gain a 12 minute time lapse. And a new trader at the trading post. Hello, Dennis. This is tempting to get me close to a billion again, but the basic chest could give me a time lapse. And that's what I value more than anything. So I'll just give him a few blue obsidians. And ooh, a five minute time lapse. Pretty good. At least to finish the excavation on this one. So we get a small mineral pile. Ooh, some black opals. We needed some of those so we can get even more cargo space. I also could use that billion to increase the efficiency of the miners, but I'm kind of more worried about the efficiency of the drill. Thankfully, we can get some time lapses from a chest to help with that, even though this one didn't give a time lapse. And it really isn't worth it to sell any of these ores either because they don't give too much in payout. I can sell quite a bit of this painite though. Helps a little bit. And the game is so dark down here compared to up at the surface. Like nighttime, daytime. Nighttime, daytime. And there are some good painite deposits way down here. And it really seems to be all they're collecting down here is painite. So that should mean a lot of millions going through if I can sell them often enough. Well, at least our drill is doing good things, going down to 98 kilometers of depth, where my miners can get even more painite and other things and sell some of the coltan for a lot. I'm still really just waiting on the coal to get to 500,000. Ooh, new cave way down there at 90. Oh my gosh, this is complex. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is send a drone down to here because he can definitely make that distance, collecting all these minerals along the way. And then once he does, we can see what these other tunnels are like. So we can hopefully send a drone that is quick down there. Ooh, give me the chest of goodies. A six minute time lapse, amazing. Which is enough for a new trader to come back at the post. 
It's Yosemite again. Oh, and he can give us another chest. Or Midas Touch buff? Increases the chance of selling for double the price when selling minerals and isotopes? Hmm. Kind of more worried about a time lapse. We'll make this trade and wait on it because we just capped out on all our storage. So we make sure we sell a ton of things, all the things. And then we open the chest. 55 million. Ooh, but there's a chest down here in this tunnel. So once the drone gets there, we can kind of see what's down these tunnels. And now I finally have enough coal for the advanced new nuclear engine. I just need the money. And let me tell you, money is slow these days. And there isn't too much down these tunnels. I could probably get the fast drone to this one really quick. Four minutes might be enough time for that. I really don't want to keep wasting drones because that time went away very quick. I guess that's what happens when you take a bathroom break during an idle game. But ooh, we have a golden chest. Hello. What do you have? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> three million yeah, things of pay holy. night? And that was a, there was a goal for that too. We get three tickets from that and complete 20 quests. We get a gold chest from that. Hold on. Oh my gosh. So much has happened. So, whew, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All that pay night gives us 3.3 billion? Yes, please. So now we have 4 billion and we can turn this in for another golden chest, which gives us a kilometer of depth. Wow. And that got us to 100 kilometers, which, oh my gosh, that means another gold chest. I love this so much. So much more pay night. Oh my gosh. Thank you, game. I need to take a bathroom break more often. Ooh, and we changed things down here too. Look at the locale. There must be something new down here eventually after 100 kilometers. So now, oh man. Oh man, I can get upgrades. <laughs> I don't even know which one to get anymore. Uh, well, there was this one that I was looking forward to. There's also more cargo space right here. Actually, wait, I have enough money to get both now. <laughs> so we can get the advanced nuclear engine for a lot of speed there. And I could get more speed. Actually, can I get both of these? Oh my gosh, I can. Segmented heat pump for more speed and more cargo space as well. Drill is looking amazing. There's just two minutes on the depth now. Wow. And you have a goal now for having 10 million watts on the drill. So that's more tickets there and a lot of money. And also the caves. Ooh, this is a buff right away. Send a fast drone to that. And that's 93 million right there. Or a mineral pile right here. I'll send a fast drone over to here so I can see what's down this tunnel. I really like these fast drones. I wish I had more cargo space. And I guess the next thing for pay night that we need is 150,000. So we can't sell too much of that anymore. But it looks like we're done with a few of the materials that we were holding on to for upgrades. So we can sell the coal again. Not that it gives that much. Sell the platinum again. Sell the coal tan again. Well, technically we still need it, but we're also a long way from these ones. So we can sell the coal tan for a really nice payout right there. Just sell it all. And we do have another trader again. And it's too bad I sold all those red diamonds because he gives a chest. Although this one is interesting. $560 million and we get almost 10 million diamonds. How much do diamonds sell for? Let's see, 7,000 diamonds sell for 450,000. I gotta pull out a calculator for this one. $450,000 from 7,000 diamonds. So that's $64 a diamond. So then 64 times nine, I'll say 10 million. That's $640 million. And this guy's asking for 500 160, so we're not making too much profit on that. And for right now, we can get the things from this chest. Ooh, a three minute time lapse. And then we'll be sure to send down a drone to grab this before we forget. And the other drone came back with a lot of money, so we'll collect this and collect another chest for a four minute time lapse, which already puts the drill almost at the next layer already. Oh, that's amazing. Ooh, and we do have enough diamonds for this trades for another basic chest. And that got us $145 million. That's kind of close to the profit that we were gonna get from the diamond trade, so I say we lucked out there. And just like that, the magic of a bathroom break gives me three more chests. One right down here for $110 million and 435,000 coltan and a five minute time lapse. Perfect. And a new trader has arrived. Hello. Whoa, whoa, you give a lot of coal, but I also know coal isn't one to one. So that's not really worth it. Neither is trading black opal for silver. Can I make a new trade? I do have some tickets stored up. Although to be fair, this is a positive outcome. So I'll just do this so I won't have to waste tickets. New cave opened up. Ooh, a buff right away. I love these. And a time lapse right away for 13 minutes. Yes, please. And we've 
gotten down to 107 kilometers. And there's five things of polonium-3, so we can get a lot of money from that. And now the time between layers is extended to 10 minutes now, which isn't too long in the grand scheme of things, but it's twice as long as before. So we'll just collect some things from here. Ooh, a lot of blue obsidian. I like that. And a small mineral pile right here, even though there's a chance for failure. The drones have already come back, which is amazing. So we get the time lapse right there, just so we can say that we did. And I don't even know what to sell, really. Just a lot of things. Do I need blue obsidian for anything? Nothing out of here. Seems to just be reserved for upgrading the manager. And we don't have enough building materials for that, so it's not even worth it. And then there was also the chest. Ooh, an eight minute time lapse. Very good. And the other buff from here, chest spawn frequency increased. Very nice. And we still have a lot of fuel left over, so we can go and get this buff right here. I like getting the buffs. And this upgrade only needs 10 blue obsidian, so we can sell a lot of that for profit. Hello, new trader. What do you have for me? A lot of money for a lot of coltan? Sure. Easy trade. And then we can immediately start working on getting a new trader in. And this chocolate of time is almost done after all those time lapses. And that was a 32 minute time lapse. Oh, that's going to be good. There's got to be a lot of layer jumps in there. Collect a small mineral pile really quick. Ooh, a lot of blue obsidian. Very good. And... We are here, we have it. The 32 minute time lapse. Oh, I kind of want to sell some things first. Just to free up a lot of room so we can make the most of this time lapse. Here we go, collect it. 32 minutes. Oh, 111 kilometers down, new trader has arrived. And we have just so many goodies that we can sell. I love this. Sell it all? Sell it all. And I think we got a lot of isotopes from that too. Oh yeah, so we can sell a lot of this polonium-3 for even more money. Oh my gosh, this is a pain I ore and I click it and I get 32,000 per thing. Wow, this depth is amazing. And a drone here has come back for another buff. I thought I sent a drone down here to collect things. Well, I can, I have time to send another one down this way. Oh, and there's a 10 minute time lapse right there. Uh, the buff is probably gonna be good. So we'll go for that. We still have time on the spawn frequency of the chest, which was already slow, but this just didn't seem to increase it that much. Oh, what does a scythe do? Increases chance of scientists will immediately be rescued? I'm not too sure what that means. But there also hasn't been any chests for this benefit to be worth it. I think I'll wait. I have been holding on to these tickets for a gold chest, but I could burn a lot of them in these basic ones, and those also give money. So we can go ahead and do that. Just make this trade really quick, and then burn a lot of money in the basic chest. There's some money, and there's a time lapse, and another time lapse and more time lapse. And there's some money. Wow, go figure. I burn all these chests and hoping to get some money, but instead I get a lot of time lapse that I've been hoping for. And we got down to 113, whoa. Complete the quest, Mr. Mine. Uh, that was a thing. Find the mime. But we get a gold chest from that. Ooh, hold on. Sell some things. Sell a lot of things. And then we get a gold chest from you. That <laughs> what? $7.6 billion from that? Oh my goodness. If only I had the materials, I could buy any of these upgrades. I'm really close to getting enough for the fission engine. So you were just hiding down there. Was there any more things that I missed? And you want a billion dollars for a gold chest. Oh my goodness. Is that worth it? That might be worth it. I have a lot of money. Gold chest time. <laughs> 5.9 more billion. Oh, so many good things from golden chests. And that seems to be all the secrets down here right now. But I tell you what, that's been a major success on that front. And just collect these things really quick. This is cute. Ooh, a lot of red diamonds. That's actually pretty good. And this book of time will increase all time lapse durations by 10%. I like that idea. It's six hours, but I tell you what, we can wait on that for the next video. Just when I thought this game couldn't surprise me anymore, it decides to go and be generous to me all of a sudden with another chest. Ooh, another time lapse. Oh, so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Sub to intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, and Hateful Harold.